And we're off on the left hand side with the Huawei P30. On the right hand side we have the Galaxy S10e. That's the cheaper of the three current Galaxy S10 devices. And on the left hand side of course the P30 is running using the Kirin 980. And the uh, S10 is running the Exynos 9820. Now the reason I chose the 9820 is because in most regions where people are choosing between a P30 and a Galaxy S10. They're probably going to get the Exynos version. And I think here the P30 is actually now in the lead. It was the first into that bloom test there. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, oh, look how fast the SQL light test was. And the same in the S10. Brilliantly performed there on both sides. But still a slight lead by the P30. Now, the P30 has two Cortex A76 cores clocked at a higher clock frequency. Then two Cortex A76 cores clocked at a slightly lower clock frequency. Then four Cortex A55 cores. It has the Armali G76 MP10 with 6 gigabytes of RAM and a 1080 by 2340 display. Now, on the right-hand side, we have the Galaxy uh, S10e, which has got two M4 cores. That's a custom core from Samsung, and already the Huawei P30 is into the Unity test. It's got two Cortex A75 cores, followed by four Cortex A55 cores. It's got the same GPU, but this is an MP12 with 12 execution units, and it's also got 6 gigabytes of RAM and a 1080 by 2280 display. And looking at the P30, it's not running at full screen there. So although it has a bigger display, I would guess that both of them are probably running at basically the same number of pixels each. Now, it will be interesting to see whether the S10 can catch up because it's clearly behind at the moment because it does have these extra two execution cores. In fact, the Huawei P30 is coming right up to this castle scene now. So this is really doing amazingly well and quite smooth there at the end. It's already into the compression test. Absolutely fantastic. It's into the compression test. Seven, eight, and the, P the S10 is still going through that castle scene. There it is. One minute and 44 seconds. And I've given you there a breakdown of the times as well. CPU, mixed GPU, CPU, and GPU times. And now the S10 is going into its final stages. 8, 9, 10. And there we have 1 minute and 55 seconds. And we can see there the CPU time was 30 seconds on the Galaxy S10. 24 seconds on the uh, P30. So a lot, a lot of time there just in the CPU stuff. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. Please like and subscribe.